Morning, driver. We're currently sat at Whitemore Yard. Prepare the train for departure and leave when ready. We're expected to arrive at Ely at 8.50. So, insert the master key. Shift on W. Reset the edge of the US. Reverse her to forward. Have a look outside at a, at a lovely shed. Headlights on. So yeah, we're in 66753 and we are currently in Whitemore Yard in March on the Peterborough Cambridge route. And there's a little, oh wait, just shunting some stuff. Cool. So our train is, train is prepared for departure, just leave run ready. So release brake. First is forward, power to notch three. That away is really loud. Like, really loud. Capacity white mode speed limit is 10 miles an hour. And we have about 16 and a half miles to Ely, where the next, where the next driver will take over. So passing by a couple of sheds. Yeah, I don't know whether I don't know why the horn is so quiet. So yeah, what more? Yeah, I basically just put in some random uh, stone hoppers. You know, because White Moor is basically like a quarry, I think, or some sort of stone distribution center. So yeah, you're in 66753 in the new GBRF, or current GBRF livery. And it, looks, and it looks really smart in it as well. So you got sheds, sheds, more sheds. <laughs> I think over here we have a 70. And even more sheds. So the scenario is called six tango six two oh eight twenty Whitemore Yard to Thob the Sulkin. Starting at Whitemore Yard, prepare the train for departure before heading up to Ely. We're expected to arrive at eight fifty. Date twenty twentieth of February twenty twenty one. So I made the scenario on the stream on the twentieth. So last Saturday on stream that I finished it because I was shattered. <laughs> Pair of workmen just doing stuff. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if Dota will ever will ever add like face masks to people. You know, because it's a law. Like Take the current, like, people, person model, copy it, and then just add a face max texture to it. Or like a, on the model, on top of it. Some guys just working on the 08, trying to fix it. Yeah, I like, I like adding in detail like that. So with the with the workman, if you didn't have the oh wait, you just have three people. You see, you just have three people standing around, a man just floating in the air. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I should also say that we're running the uh, Peter Brothers Cambridge group, available on Alan Thompson, Thompson Sim .com. I'll put a link to it in the description. It is currently selling for, I think it's 20 quid. But if you're a sub to ACS, it should be a half price. If Alan hasn't changed it. So gently pull up his danger aspect and stop. So we're set to neutral. I wish uh, Dovetail put in a DRA in this. Please wait here until service 65 Foxtrot has passed and you have a path through March. Single gear aspects where you can pull the resistor forward, release the brake. And power toss three. What kind of screen? Yeah, I think the uh, two signal blocks outside March are really close together. Yeah, we have a fairly heavy train, so it will take a bit of time to get up to speed. I am also using the, um, I think it's called the AP Wagon 4 Wheel thing sound pack. It's currently on sale in AP for, for a fiver, so it is worth it. It gives it gives wagons that sound some sound, because Dovetail are lazy. Like the wagons are carrying now that are from the... Um, Freightliner and EWS Class 08 pack. Dovetail didn't put any sounds in them because they're lazy. So, yeah, thankfully AP has put some sounds onto them. Oh, you can buy some sounds to go with them. So, this is March Station. So yeah, March. It's a very, it's a very nice station. I think Alan said he actually went to the location. Alan said he actually went to the station to gather some, uh, gather some uh, sauce, and it looks really nice. So next signal is some distance away. What's the speeding? Oh, yeah, I should have also used the uh, train length button as well. Didn't get, a, didn't, didn't sleep well. Try harder next time, dummy. <laughs> some tears on the left that come from the dovetail sixty that everyone hates <laughs> for good reason. This next signal is single yellow. 
so what's with my train? Yeah, next signal isn't too far away, so stop breaking. Oh, you've also got the uh, billboard patch for the for the route. Basically, so it's like the non funny billboards to replace them with things that are better. <laughs> like on the right, there's a billboard that says the McPickle 99P. Like I, I need that. I like, I like pickles. So 0.1 miles to the signal. There it is, currently at single yellow. What do I uh, pass by? Or fly by? Pass by? I don't know. Line side shot. Yeah, I don't know why the horn is all quiet. Oh yeah, if you haven't already noticed, I did turn up the uh, shadow quality, so the shadows, shadows are more sharp instead of blurry. So yeah, Shadows, I think this, I think this livery is definitely the best livery for it. Just, just look how smart it looks. That is a really that is a really nice screenshot. Oh green, cool. Also because this is a class six train, so a six tango six two, we are limited to sixty miles an hour, not thirty five. Even though it, w it will take a while because the train is so heavy. So yeah, these wagons, they come with the um, EWS and Freightliner Class 08 available on Steam. Is that coal or like really dark ballast? So these are MEAs and the shorter ones. are um, FAs. They look really cool. And also... <coughs> sorry. Sorry, um, what happened to the coupling? I don't think Dovetail ever envi envisaged people doing this, so... Quality insurance for the win! Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if Dovetail's beta testing team actually exists because of the amount of bugs that seep through on their products.
So in real life, I have seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sheds. So yeah, I'm very familiar with them. And AP, they did. I don't know what they actually added. I think they added like this screen thing. So I think it's Control One, Control Zero, Two, Three. There we go. Yeah, Control and Numpad Enter turns on. So a data meter says I think one is enter. Nope. One is off. Uh, zero. Two. Two is down. Eight is up. Four is. Six is right. Four is left. I think. Five is enter. Seven. Nine. Oh, enter. Okay. Creep control. What's that? Oh, I can't do that. Uh, starting program, digital, I.O., power, data. Local mods an hour, 46. Okay. How do I go back? Okay, uh, press 1 to go back. Multiplexer. M deck data, doesn't work. Unit info. Unit GBRF 66753, year 2000, ID 72183, it's currently 830. That's enough. Uh, 1st January 2015. Cool. That's, that's neat. But other than that, I'm not sure what AP actually did, apart from fix a few sounds and the exhaust. Where's the, where's the train ahead at? So there's Ely, where, where, where our destination is. So the train up ahead is really far away. There's some yellow. Where's the, oh, there's Danger. Charlie Alpha 924. As, we pass, as we're about to pass through Maney Station. So yeah, the other route is very, very flat because it's the fens, and the fens are very flat. So the route on ATS, it runs from Peterborough in the west to Cambridge in the east and south a bit. So you have Peterborough, Wilsey, March, Maidy, Ely, Water Beach, Cambridge North, Cambridge. I'm sure, that, I'm sure that's all of them. So you can use this for freight, 170s. 70s, 68s, rail tours, diversions. So yeah, lots and lots of potential on the route. Also, this, this is part of a network of which is in development. So I think the next one is probably, maybe, uh, the line from um, Ely to Kings Lane. So you can do a Kings Lane to Cambridge. Then hopefully one day, uh, Cambridge to King's Cross. This is me. Random breakfast. So nine and a half miles left. I'm also pretty sure I put in a uh, weather transition, but I don't think it worked. A clear aspect.
Go have a bit, a bit of an explore. I'm pretty sure that's a Kuju like gird bridge that they just made grey. Maybe it's a new model. I'm not too sure. Yeah, um, White Moor, it needs more scenarios because, uh, because I think on ATH I haven't really seen that many scenarios for White Moor. I think the only ones I've seen is my other one to White Moor from Cambridge and this one. Maybe people don't like White Moor. I don't know why. Coming up to a speed limit of 60. We'll, we'll be there eventually. <laughs> That's cool. With the uh, thing. Right, what's this called? I forget. I completely, completely forgot what's called. Was it? I like how they did like this, where the covers are off. Nice, nice detail. So sooner or later we'll be we'll, we'll, sooner or later we'll be coming up on Ely North Junction, also known as Ely Papworth, where many many trains are stored following their end of service. Mainly, I think at the moment it's mainly just like HSTs, which is very sad. So just let, just just let the train coast as we're with approach sixty. So a previous scenario idea that I had was to do was to do a sixty from Guybridge to Huddersfield with a biomass train. But because Dovetail sixty is is Dovetail's sixty is literally that shit. I couldn't get any grip past Daily Bridge. You know, Daily Bridge you have a hill towards uh, Marston. Yeah, I couldn't get any grip, so I just ended up like slowly climbing the hill at like 20 miles an hour. Yeah, um, I've also noticed uh, the information has gone round that, uh, that AP have discontinued the 60 sound pack, which could only mean that. Uh, which could only mean that AP are doing something with the 60, mainly like an enhancement pack. That's the thing, I think Alan said that, or someone said, that AP, or Richard from AP, has a really soft spot for 60s. I'm thinking about the Dovetail 60, it's like the model is really good, it's just that like everything else just falls flat in its face. Like the bridge, the brake, the brake gauge is broken. The airflow is broken. The speed, so speed set is broken or not working. I don't know. The headlights are awful. The sounds are awful. Like, why would you put HST sounds in a 60? Just why? 
who would do that? Like, all you have to do is go to YouTube, search Class 60, watch a few videos of 60s, and there you go, you have some familiarity with the tugs. And if the developers did that, they wouldn't need to put their fucking HST sound in a 60. Like, why? Why would you do that? So yeah, um, hopefully AP should come along, come along fairly soon, and give us like a sixty fix. So there's a 50 and a 60 as we join the line from uh, what? Uh, join the line from Kings Lane. I think the only wheat skin that this scenario uses is the Great Northern 387 from Super Alps. So it gently slide on to fifty. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why the high tones are quiet. So this is Ely Papworth. Let's go, that. Let's go and have a quick look if I might cooperate. So over here we have some HSCs, rest in peace. When we get to like 10 FPS. Yeah, it is really sad. Over here we have Dotel's Shite 60. And we have a withdrawn 442. And some more power cars. Ooh, that was close. So I'll start slowing down for 20 as we get to Ely. Slow down quicker. Did he break this shit? <laughs> One, hold on. And release. I was coming to Ely where I drew to stop in the up goods loop. Where the video will end. And the scenario as well.
So Chandler is cruising in, go pass over crossing, go left, then left. So we're going to the far left. That's Ely. Uh, some people want to say Eli, which just sounds completely wrong. So Ailey station on the right. The power three eight sevens, three eight sevens going to the cross. Or King's Cross. Or King's X. Don't anyway. Uh eight forty five. Oh I'm uh, five minutes early. Cool. So our signal is just at the end of this loop. Before the, before the train goes left towards Bury St Evans. So this is the end of the video, so hope you enjoyed this speed run from Whitemore to Ely. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more train sim. There's a lot of it. Uh, like the video if you're so inclined. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Also follow me on Twitch for live streams. I think they're mainly going to be either driving stuff or scenario, scenario creation. Maybe a bit of both. Where you can actually, where you can actually talk to me live. What the, the hell? Oh, okay. I guess we're stopping here then. I'm sure I was doing less than, less than 20. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.